I know you were a partner of uh, Nature Boy Ric Flair when he first broke into the business. I know you've done a lot of things. You've teamed with Sweet Hansen, uh, one of the great all-time tag teams of all-time, Rick Hawk and Sweet Hansen. Um, I wanted to get some kind of story from you real briefly about one of your stories on the road or your career or something you want to share with the folks at home in Hawaii and abroad. I know you have some stories about Mr. Don Morocco. Oh, he works with me. Don Morocco, he brought a surfboard down in Florida. He thought they had the waves down there bigger than the Hawaii. <laughs> yeah, and when he got when he got out there, was it a little small bump? I mean, this is well, small. it was like the weight from the boat. <laughs> he thought it was a big skier down to do all that, but you know how it is. I I rented, I let him have my apartment when I got there. Okay, you let him have your apartment. Yeah. Any surprises for Don when he got there? Oh yeah, I gave him dishes, pots, pans, and everything, but I didn't tell him about maybe ten chicks had some keys to my apartment. Oh, scandalous! So. God knows what happened after I left. Is he still married? I know he's married. I don't know if to the same woman, Rick. Well, you may have caused some marital strife. I might have. Oh, man. Well, I tell you what, anything you want to tell the folks at home? Anything else you want to tell well, them? Well, I just hope that the people there in Hawaii enjoy wrestling. It's a new group of people. Guys starting out, guys that have been wrestling a few years. And you know what? I think some of those guys, like Don, and uh, the bull, you know the bull, Curtis. Curtis, should get off of their lazy butts and get down and help you guys. <laughs> well, Mr. Morocco does help us quite a bit. Oh, does he? Well, yes, we'll he forgive does. him. <laughs> but Curtis, come on, don't sit there and watch the grass grow. Get busy with these guys. Help them. Show them what happened in the old days. Don't be lazy. See, he was a big football star so and a wrestling star. So he figures he's going to lay back and just... Take it easy. <laughs> Watch your grass, bro. But yeah, I wish the people there would, would really take time and appreciate the time and the effort that these young guys are putting into the business because they need your, your support. And I know that any time that somebody hollers for you, against you, it just gives you a little bit of an adrenaline rush and it'll help you along the way. So people, Get off of your sofas and get out of there. Don't lay on your patio day, every day. Watch your kids. What I say to kids because I'm an old man. But go out and watch them wrestle and enjoy yourself. It's the greatest thing for anyone. I've heard psychologists say that. You go to a wrestling match and knock off the stress. You get stressed at the bad guys, but when you leave, you're, you're cool. <laughs> All right, Rick, thanks. That's true legend, folks. Thank you. Thank you so much. No problem.